Have you been told to stop exercising because you have osteoarthritis? Or instead, have you chosen to simply remain inactive because you're afraid of making your arthritis worse? Well, you're not alone. Many people are told by physicians or physical therapists, or of course your friends who are medical experts, that they should, that you should stop exercising, save your knees. What do you think you're doing? Well, let's talk about osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis is the loss of cartilage or cushioning in your joints. Uh, orthopedic surgeons can tell how much osteoarthritis is present by the loss of cartilage, meaning the, the bones are getting closer together. Now, osteoarthritis is not, by and large, a mechanical issue. That means that your running, your exercise, the years you spent playing sports or lifting weights, you have not been rubbing away the cartilage in your knee. The cartilage in our joint is nourished by the fluid in the joint, meaning that the cartilage doesn't have blood flow, so it doesn't get food or nutrition from uh, your bloodstream like other cells in our body. It gets it from uh, the joint fluid. Now, the joint fluid in your knee, hip, uh, or shoulder joints is subject to the chemicals, compounds, inflammatory mediators circulating around your blood. So if you have certain metabolic diseases like type 2 diabetes, insulin resistance, hypertension, abdominal obesity, you have a lot of inflammatory mediators in your blood. They find their way into your joint fluid. Those compromise the health of cartilage. There are genetic components. There are post-injury and post-surgery components to, to arthritis as well. However, for the majority of you, your arthritis did not start because you were too active. Now, how do we use that advice in real life? Well, staying active is not going to make your arthritis worse. Even running is not going to make your arthritis worse. It turns out that our cartilage enjoys the cyclical loading of walking and running. It might like cycling as well, but it enjoys the impact or the loading. And we can see these changes occur on certain MRI scans before, during, and after exercise. So don't sit there and rest because you're not uh, going to preserve your knee. You're not going to save it. If you're going to need a knee replacement in the future, that's just because osteoarthritis as of today is a steadily progressive disease. And we cannot halt is progression with stem cells, PRP, or any of the supplements that you might be taking. We can control pain with those things, but we can't stop the progression. You're not going to save your knee by being inactive. You're not going to save your joints by staying on the couch and not going outside and not enjoying yourself. What you are going to do is throw your overall health under the bus. So if you have high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, you're worried about your risk of heart disease, stroke, etc., then you need to be moving. So you don't want to throw your health under the bus and put your risk of all these d diseases onto the table if uh, instead you think that you're uh, saving your knee from osteoarthritis. So you're not saving your knee, stay active. That can include running, it could, could in, include playing tennis, it could include working out. Remember, walking alone works. And if your knee pain is so severe that you can't do these things, then it's time to explore other alternatives.